If a bomb goes off or you hear that there's guerrilla warfare, like most of us will run in the other direction. Whereas like war reporters run towards it. I was just curious, like what went wrong in your childhood? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's always funny to, when there is some crisis, um, then of course planes are sent to evacuate people. And on the planes going into the spot, you have all these, uh, you know, it's me and various other people, all pretending to be tourists, all carrying these very large cameras, concocting stories about why they need large cameras. And usually it's, oh, we're gonna shoot weddings in, you know, in the middle of war-torn Cairo or Syria or <laughs> wherever it may be. Um, but I must say that if, from a normal perspective, the reporters seem completely crazy. From our perspective, it's those photographers and camera folks who are just incredible. I mean, they, they have to be right there when the bullets are going off. And my, my first rule of war reporting is you never accept a car ride from a photographer because when they control the car and they hear gunfire, they go right to it. Uh, it's fine to give them a ride in your car, but never accept a ride from a photographer in a war zone. This is very good news. This is very anyone on Tinder or OkCupid, okay remember this <laughs> when you guys are going on these blind dates. Bye.